Hey YouTube, I'm back. Give y'all some more updates about this dumbass shit I'm going through. So, mind you, I've been coming on here telling y'all what's going been going on with my gang stalking. I am at the highest level of gang stalking right now. My old motherfucking family was poisoning me, caught their ass red-handed. My dead auntie stopped me dead in their tracks from killing me. I mean, stop me dead in their tracks. She stopped me dead in their tracks to tell me, basically, like, check this out. Your family ain't shit. They trying to kill you. She even know about the gang stalkers. My dead auntie, Auntie Paula, man. Auntie Paula, rest in peace, her soul. Rest in peace, her soul. Auntie Paula. Auntie Paula died in July, man. She died at the end of July. I knew something right wasn't right about my auntie. Then I looked in her eyes and I saw her picture. I just, you know how you, you know how you can just feel? You know how you get intuition. Man, I saw so much sadness in my auntie's eyes. I knew something wasn't right. Come to find out, oh, these motherfuckers was poisoning me. I ended up finding out that it was, my family was poisoning me. Come to find out they was poisoning me because they all wanted to fuck my damn ex-boyfriend. I mean, all of my had, I had not only bitches attracted to my ex-boyfriend, but Mostly men. Mostly men that was really beefing with me, trying to fight me and beat my ass over my ex-boyfriend. Yes. Yes. What it all boils down to is a bunch of whole, bunch of uh, honey pot, bisexual, gay ass, gang stalkers. Shit, all gang stalkers, man. Even, they even had my ex-boyfriend turn, turn the heat, a joint, the coat. I ended up finding out, check this out. I ended up finding out that my daddy and my mama wanted fame off my death. That's why they was poisoning me. Mind you, I bought that $15,000 cart from that cooking man. My daddy's side, bitch. $15,000 cart. These motherfuckers is literally holding this shit hostage. Mind you, I paid for this shit. My daddy got in cahoots with the nigga that's his side, bitch. They holding this shit hostage. First of all, I ended up finding out that. Mind you, I bought this whole... I, I got this cart custom made. I, I really looked up to this dude. I looked up to this dude. I come to find out this nigga was my enemy. He was fucking my daddy. I don't know who went to who. But I had to find out he was fucking my daddy and he was an enemy. He was an enemy that wanted to stop me. This nigga got in cahoots with one of my ex-friends, mama, to poison me. Yes, I, I got an old friend that's so obsessed and intimidated as fuck. To the point where he went to the cooking man and wanted to poison me. My daddy paid him. I ended up finding out my daddy paid him. Jackie Robinson, right? And my ex-boyfriend, Wandell Williams. They paid Jalen. They paid Jalen. And then they paid G Stacks. G Stacks is the dude that does the carts. The cooking carts. So, mind you. My dad had gave... My mom four thousand dollars so she, she can finish up my cart. My cart only cost, only had to pay twenty three hundred dollars more on the cart, and I was done. This lady took the extra money and gave it to the dude that poisoned me. Y'all ended up finding out all, the extra two thousand dollars. He ended up, she ended up giving that money. Mind you, that's my money. That's my money. That was supposed to be my money. And mind you, I've been out here on the streets. Homeless living in my car why they did all of this. They poisoned me. Had me walk away from my job because my cousins was chasing me down, trying to kill me. Because I ended up finding out these motherfuckers was all trying to sleep with my ex-boyfriend. Then was passing around STDs. These motherfuckers was trying to purposely give me HIV, STD, and herpes. Yes. They all slept with my ex-boyfriend was doing black magic. Men was doing black magic to sleep with him. Women was doing, they was doing bunch of, a whole bunch of black magic on me. I ended up finding out my mama, my daddy, my ex-boyfriend, and an old friend, they was doing death riches on me. Cousins doing death riches on me. The fuck? Like, death riches, yes. I ended up finding out my nephew, my nephew, he, he was a side bitch too. He went, he went, he went and fucked my ex-boyfriend. They passed around HIV. Mind you, 
When I went on the run, it's called Go Have Fun Leo, man. I'm on the NBC News. I'm on the NBC News, and them people are sad for me. So I named it Go Go Have Fun Leo. When these motherfuckers was joining a cult and doing all that orgy-ass shit, that's when they sent me on fucking poison. I come back, I end up finding out they didn't all fuck them. They all fucked them. That's how you know, gang stalkers. They all fucked them. They gave this boy herpes and HIV, bruh. Herpes and HIV. I ended up finding out my daddy wanted him to have it. So he was sleeping with... I ended up finding out my ex-boyfriend slept with the nigga that I bought the car with. They was in all the cahoots. Just to fuck on each other. Like, poison me. Get me out the way so they can all fuck on each other. I ended up finding out my oldest brother... My oldest brother wanted me dead. He was really happy. He was the one having me poisoned because he wanted to fuck him. They was having an affair. Yes, my ex-boyfriend. Then, come to find out, my ex-gay friend, he was supposed to be my cousin. This nigga, his mama get going, going to, going to the above. To have to sabotage my life and then I come to find out my mom and my daddy is involved. Like these literally these people was literally trying to fucking hold my life the fuck back. That's why I went on that run two months ago. <coughs> because my ass exposed it. <coughs> I exposed them. I got on the motherfucking Instagram every day exposing these people like it was a fucking job. These people fucked up everything for me. I had, I worked at fucking Facebook. I did DoorDash and I bought a $15,000 cooking cart. I was finna take off in my career and they poisoned me. Come to find out, my motherfucking mama know about it and her granddaughter fucking poisoned me. Mind you, her grandkids won't get a fucking job. I ended up finding out her grandson is gay for pay. And I already know her fucking granddaughter is, is, is a hoe. She she She's a prostitute. But I ended up finding out my brother's gay for pay. My daddy's gay for pay. My the, the nigga that did the car is gay for pay. Gay for pay. It all connected to a gay for pay fucking a cult. They going around poisoning people. And using people as phase because half of these motherfuckers is HIV. I ended up finding out, mind you, I'm on the news right now. My name is Gotta See a Doctor High Priestess. I knew I detected these motherfuckers STDs before they even detected them on the test. I knew that these people was going to get caught and go to jail because they all have that STD. They were trying to give that shit to me. My daddy, my daddy Jackie Robinson ended up getting HIV. From the nigga, the cooking nigga, the nigga that did my car, he passed HIV to my father. I knew about it before my father even knew about it. Yes, I'm on the news right now. Yes, I detected all these motherfuckers, um, STDs, man, and they was trying, they all fucked my ex-boyfriend just to try to give me, they fucked him just to try to give me an STD because they mad because I made money. Like, that's some nasty gang stalker shit, bruh. That's some stinking ass gang stalker shit. Just because they got to ride around and get gift cards all day. Oh, well. Oh, well. $20 a pop. I told these motherfuckers. Mind you, my daddy, he live in the Philippines. He's supposed to be a millionaire. Mind you, I had millionaires beefing with me. Big ballers. G-Stacks. Pits. He, he a not well-known Bay Area dude that do pits. I'm th- I looked up to this nigga. I'm thinking, I wanted this nigga to be my mentor. I'm thinking this nigga was getting to the bag. You feel me? I saw that he built the trailers. And also, he was a cook, too. Like, somewhat a cook. He was more of a builder. Come to find out, this nigga was in fucking competition with me. Him and my daddy. In competition. My daddy stopped my shit. These motherfuckers really tried them. They, They fucking laced me. Then making me seem like I'm crazy, like I'm, but this shit is all on the news. They not telling the truth that it's all over the fucking news. These people are going to jail any day now, any day now. And and, and that's how you know it's not true because they're not saying anything. They're not 
telling me every they not telling me nothing. I had to find out everything through my intuition. I've been trying to find out who been trying to kill me since motherfucking July. Here we are in fucking November, man. These people are on the news, though. I ended up finding out my motherfucking girl cousin was fucking them too, got pregnant by him. Like, what the fuck? So you, all you motherfuckers were sitting up here fucking this nigga to plot on my money? I mean, these is grown-ass old people. Grown-ass motherfucking cousins. Fuck out of here. Codependent-ass bitches. Y'all all looking at me and plotting on me. I ended up finding out it led... The auntie that died, it led all the way back to her stinking ass uh, son. He fucked him. He fucked him. Yes, he the one that set me up. His daughter. I ended up finding out his daughters was the ones that set me up. Mind you, I fucking raised one of his daughters, my little cousin. I used to take care of this little bitch when she was a baby. This little bitch set me up. Set me up. All because they wanted to copy me. They wanted to copy me. And fuck the ex boyfriend, but not only not only them, my daddy and my the daddy and the fucking man who did the car. Weird as fuck. I ain't up finding out my mama cousin poisoned me because they just don't like me, just just not to fucking like me. That's why he poisoned me. Hell nah, this shit is crazy, man. Like I said, I'm gonna keep getting on here, giving y'all update about this shit. But. I'm on the highest level of fucking gang stalking, man. I'm in my motherfucking car. I went from having everything together to where these motherfuckers going around telling people that that, that that somebody laced me, bro, when it was these motherfuckers that did it. But I'm fine. That's the thing I see. That's how you know I'm blessed as fuck because I'm fine. But it's like I'm not going to get away. I'm not going to let these people get away with this shit. I, I don't give a fuck if it's on the news. If I got to get up and just keep reporting it. God keep telling me, rest queen, rest queen. They they all going to jail. They going, you know. And I'm about to receive a lot of money, and these people are jealous. Like, they doing anything to keep me out in the cold because they know that I'm about to receive money from NBC News. Jealous as fuck, dirty, dirty ass, nasty ass gang stalkers. Like, uh, I don't wish it on nobody what I'm going through. Like, I'm literally... I think I'm just at the little, they're literally at the end. I hope I am, because I've been going through hell since motherfucking July, man. I mean, I went on the run from L.A. to motherfucking Vegas. Then I came back out here. Like, God keeps telling me, put restraining on these bitches, because, mind you, the cousin that I didn't find out that that was fucking, mind you, nieces was fucking them, cousins. They they stalked me down. Hey, they gang. They found me to jump me. So I ended up finding out this bitch was stalking me the whole time. My mama was stalking me down. My daddy was stalking me down. The niece, the nieces was being sent to stalk me down. And the nephew, the nephew was plotting on my money. Fucked my ex boyfriend. Gave him fucking HIV. Was plotting on my money. Fuck out of here, grown ass fucking nephew kids fuck out of here. I'm not responsible for y'all motherfucking kids. So y'all gonna go sleep with the nigga to try to give me an STD? That's sick as... What the fuck we going through people's brain? I don't know, man. It's sick as fuck. But I'll give y'all another update.